Breaking news today. Breaking, South Korea launches wipeout North Korea drill. In the wake of Kim Jong-un's claims that he has a hydrogen bomb, South Korea has just conducted a live-fire missile test earlier this Monday. The test utilized controversial U.S.-developed missile defense systems, and will likely pose as a huge deterrent to North Korea's attempts at intimidation in the future. The show of military might was meant to demonstrate South Korea's willingness to wipe out a Kim Jong-un regime, according to the South Korean Defense Ministry, and while China has attacked the move as being a pointless escalation of violence, President Trump and his East Asian allies likely disagree. North Korea only understands one thing. Donald Trump tweeted out previously, and based off of the South Korean response to this threat, it seems that they're beginning to understand. The United States has tried diplomatic solutions to the problem of North Korea ever since Bill Clinton was in office, and what did we get? We got stabbed in the back, North Korea lied to us, embarrassed us, and took advantage of our generosity. Now, it's time to take the gloves off and start dealing with them seriously. CNN reports that South Korea's recent drill involved multiple F-15K fighter jets and surface-to-surface -surface ballistic missiles, which far surpass Kim Jong-un's military capability of handling. South Korea strengthened the deployment of a controversial U.S.-made missile defense system and launched a huge show of military might on Monday in response to North Korea's hydrogen bomb test. Seoul said the North appeared to be preparing to launch more missiles after Sunday's test rocked the region. South Korea conducted a series of live-fire drills and said the U.S. was preparing to bolster its military presence in the region. Many Americans have already praised South Korea in the bold move, realizing that Kim Jong-un will only respond to one thing, force. Still, North Korean allies China and Russia have warned that they would consider stepping in if South Korean officials persist. Putin threatened to ramp up his military assets in response something much to the chagrin of President Trump, while China warned that the deployment of the missile defense system, THAAD, would escalate the already tense situation. Still, it seems that we have no other choice, while violence is never the best option, sometimes it is the only option. Seoul responded to North Korea's nuclear test with a show of military might that was intended to demonstrate its willingness to wipe out the regime of Kim Jong-un, South Korea's defense ministry said. South Korea's Army and Air Force carried out a joint drill that involved multiple F-15K fighter jets and surface-to-surface -surface ballistic missiles. They hit targets off the country's east coast to simulate a strike on North Korea's nuclear test site, according to a statement from the South Korean Joint Chiefs of Staff. At a Defense Ministry press conference, Major General Jang hyung soo said South Korea had detected continuous signs that North Korea was preparing another ICBM test. He said the North could launch the missiles ahead of September 9, the anniversary of the day North Korea was founded, in a show of celebration at home and defiance to the U.S. He said South Korea plans to carry out another missile drill to show its strong will and ability to respond. On Sunday Pyongyang claimed it has the ability to place a miniaturized nuclear weapon on an ICBM. If confirmed, it would be a significant advance for its weapons program, achieved far sooner than experts had predicted. The deepening crisis has fractured global relations, with China being at the center. They've been continually embarrassed by North Korea's belligerence, and have repeatedly failed to keep their ally in check. For others, however, the North Korean crisis has been a benefit. President Trump has expertly used this global threat to strengthen relations with South Korea and Japan, who could potentially serve as incredibly useful allies in the near future, and with China denouncing the U.S. military's actions in regard to North Korea, we may need more allies in this region.